Ladies and gentlemen, you are now watching UBD FM TV. Highlighting recent events, gaining in depth insight, providing you quality entertainment there is to offer. Proudly presented to you by the station for the next generation. This is UBD FM TV. TV. Hey guys, welcome back to Infotainment Day 2 And you're with me today, DJ Will And what we're going to talk about today is on Travel Spec As you guys know, on every Tuesday from 8 to 11 We have Travel Spec segment by DJ Will Me and myself, just for you Hey guys, as you guys know that for Travel Spec We're usually going to talk about food Yes, food, F-O-O-D, food. That's a thing that we can't miss out, especially for me, DJ Will. But eventually, before we talk about food, let's talk about places, all right? Let's talk about places. And the places, the country that we're going to talk about in today's travel spec is Greece, G-R-E-E-C-E, -E -E, all right? So, for this week's segment on travel spec, we're going to look at Greece at the top level despite all those ancient buildings, ancient cities we're gonna talk about the awesome places that you have to go when you're in Greece and the first and foremost the place that you have to go is the Santorini architecture that's the place if you're wondering what is it it's a place where there are a lot, a lot of buildings which is covered with white walls, right? White walls and blue dome roofs. Exactly. And let me tell you one more secret. If you're planning to go for wedding, honeymoon, and for photo shoot, this is the place that you have to go, right? This is one of the places that you have to reconsider because the place the view is real nice all right it's s-a-n-t-o-r-i-n-i -I space architecture have a look and you'll find out the heaven like place on this santorini architecture the second place that you have to look into when you are in greece is acropolis right acropolis is a place where it rises high and proud and it basically is visible from every corner of Athens all right so as some of you might have known in Acropolis there is a huge giant temple which is built entirely with marble which used to house the giant statue of the goddess of Athens which is the city patrons goddess so the third place that you have to go to when you're in Greece is the Benaki Museum B-E-N-A-K-I Exactly, alright So, if you're wondering that you might have waste some time if you go to a museum in Greece especially this Benaki Museum let me tell you something you're wrong because the most interesting fact the most interesting thing that is about this Benaki Museum is every floor you go, you will go into the different historic time of Greece. So imagine the first floor you go is maybe the first year, the second floor you go is the second hundred years, the third floor you go and go on. All right, so those are basically the places that you have to go when you're in Greece and when we come back we're gonna talk about nothing else but food exactly my favorite part food that you have to try when you're in Greece all right all right so guys welcome back to the second half of travel spec and for the second half as I mentioned earlier we're gonna talk about food exactly F O O D food D okay so what is it about for the first food that you have to try when you're in Greece is called masuka masuka follow me M A S S O U K A masuka okay <laughs> okay so basically 
This food is covered with layered of flour and eggplant and of course meat, right? But the thing with this meat is the meat is spiced up. So basically, this food masuka is the most awesome food that you have to try in Greece. It's just like Ambuya and Brunei. It represents Greece. Once again, follow me. Masuka is the layer of eggplant, flour, and spice meat. It's the second food that you have to try when you're in Greece is the chicken soup at Golamana. Alright? This is the ultimate ultimate dish for Greeks. And trust me or not, this is also the staple food for Greece. Just like Brunei's, Brunei's staple food is rice, but for Greeks, they have this chicken soup of Golomono. Alright, so as I've been mentioning about chicken soup, you've been thinking, you might be wondering, this chicken soup might be just normal chicken soup. But trust me, it is not. Because the awesome taste from this chicken soup is that it has the egg lemon taste. Once again, egg lemon taste. Wow. So, Make sure you try it when you're in Greece. The third food that you have to try when you're in Greece is called Zatsiki. Don't get me wrong, it's not our DJ Ziki in UBDFM, which you're gonna, might, gonna listen to him later on in other videos in infotainment, but it's called Zatsiki. This Zatsiki is actually a creamy cucumber yogurt dip. Don't get me wrong, it's for meat and vegetables. It's not for crackers, alright? It's not those Doritos dips that you put, but it's for meat and vegetables. And also, this kind of dip is actually served as condiments as well. As you guys know, like something like Korean dish, they have kimchi or cucumber, those kind of things for condiments, but in normal everyday, um, everyday food, life, everyday lunch and dinner for Greece, for Greeks, alright, they have this tzatziki for condiments. Alright guys, welcome back and this is the end of my infotainment for you on Travel Spec. If you want to know more besides the three most favorite dishes that you have to eat in Greece, and also the three most favorite places that you have to go when you're in Greece. Don't forget to catch me live on this week's edition on Travel Spec. Alright, so don't go away. I'm gonna see you guys next week on the next infotainment to tell you guys more about other countries. And thank you for your time with me, DJ Will. And remember, you are always as important as any one of us.